This is gonna go well, I can tell. And he wants you to see how the calmer corn header does. I know you bought like a lot of stuff and you said not everybody has to well, get I all that stuff, right? A complete calmer kit. So do you feel like it was worth the money? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. This channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. Hey everyone, it is day seven of corn harvest. So yesterday we moved over into one of my dad's fields. Earlier this week we were harvesting um, a piece of ground that my dad rents. So because we, we don't start very first thing in the morning because the corn is normally like a little bit wet, um, there's dew. I am going to get some of this corn into this barrel I have right here so I can feed it to my chickens. So I've got this nice barrel here. It's like 55 gallon drum and it's got a nice screw on lid. Um, I really don't know the best way to fill this up. Last year we had them in like pear bins. So the harvester can pretty much dump straight into those. So I've got a five gallon bucket and I'm just gonna scoop it out of the truck and put it in this guy. And then I got a grinder at home, old school grinder, and I just grind it and mix it in with their food. This is gonna go well, I can tell. Ooh, okay, don't fall. There it is. It'll be a nice little morning workout. That was a workout. I don't know how many trips I did, 10, 11. Um, but now I've got all that corn. Won't last me all year. I honestly probably need like three of those or more, but we'll see how, how far one will make it. Um, and now I'm gonna head out to the bank out wagon. <sighs> Hopefully today will be a successful day. <laughs> I should have known better. Um, I packed candy today, which I don't normally do. Sour Patch Kids. I normally am like a sweet eater. Like I could live off chocolate and ice cream, but my husband really likes Sour Patch Kids and I've started eating them too. I also don't, like this is, I buy these little pieces of chocolate and this, that's like the only candy we buy. I don't really buy, buy any candy, but I bought him a huge bag of Sour Patch Kids and I brought some for myself and it's not even lunchtime yet. And I wanna eat them. Ah, okay. I just need to hide them. I always feel like I shouldn't eat candy before lunch. I'm just gonna look away. You guys gave me some good snack ideas though. A couple people talked about like Chex Mix. We used to make some kind of Chex Mix treat that was like peanut butter and chocolate. I feel like that has a name, but I can't think of it. But I need to look that up and make some. Mmm, yeah. Okay, so my dad wanted me to show you guys this corn to show you how tall it is. So for reference, I am five, uh, seven. <laughs> I'm five, seven. So it's quite a bit taller than me. Um, I don't know exactly how tall, but he thinks this is some of our tallest corn. So I'm 5'7", you saw how much taller than me it was, and he wants you to see how the calmer corn header does. 
One thing he was talking about was these, how good they look. He said, this is exactly how you want to see them. Just clean and together and perfect looking still. Hopefully I don't get knocked out by any corn cobs because it shoots them out the back. And sometimes you'll hear them hit my tractor like bullets. I swear one day the glass is going to break. So there you can see it's, I don't know, foot and a half tall compared to eight feet. I'm probably gonna have spiders all over me now. today a little breezy still but it's not bad cooler not getting those hundred degree days i think today is only supposed to be in, i think we're gonna have like a whole week of in the 70s and then it's gonna go back up to the 80s so i think fall is here finally Okay, so we installed the calmer corn header and I told everybody it was kind of a long process Yeah. because we started it months ago. But on the corn header, what, I know you bought like a lot of stuff and you said not everybody has to well, get I all that stuff, right? A complete calmer kit. Yeah, and you bought it at the Commodity Classic? Yeah. Had, had you had heard of it before then? Yeah, I looked at it the year before. Oh, and then last year you were like, I'm getting I, it. Yeah, I talked to somebody from Georgia that had it. And on the same style header, so I decided to do it. What is there one certain thing on there that you were just like, we have to have this changed? Well, or it was kind of everything? My, a lot of the parts on mine was war, so it's the chopper, the snapping rollers that make the big difference, but. And you can't really see those with it down, right? Um, it's the, that's the piece underneath? Yeah, they're in between there with the knives. So this piece yeah. in here, and there's each, each row has two. Yeah, they're called snapping rollers. Okay, but so I that's bought, made the biggest difference for you. Yeah, but I bought the complete kit that came with the chains, the snapping plates, the ch chopper rollers, and then the different idlers to sprockets to change the speed on the chains. So what do these snapping rollers do that yours didn't do? They cut the corn into little pieces where mine just grabbed it and kind of kinked it and pulled it down. Okay, so this we just harvested and there's the corn there. So you can see how you said, okay, you just said you don't run it low enough, but last year before you had it, we used to run it right under the ear. Cause did you just feel like your corn header couldn't handle all that well, it stock? Wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything. So before we used to just like, Last year, we'd run it like all the way up here, just right under to get the corn. But now everything he's running this low. Yeah, it's hard to grab a handful of it even. I mean, you don't even, you know, there's the pieces. But that's what you're saying, that yours wouldn't do anything like that no, before. It would just leave big, long stalks. Yeah. And this one chops everything up really good. Yeah. Where before I'd end up, you know, just the whole thing just bit, and that's it. Right, here's a piece. It's hard to pick up even. Oh, yeah, there you can see the inside. Anyway. So, do you feel like it was worth the money? Yes. And I you do. feel like you're getting higher yield because of it? Well, I don't know if I'm, I think my machine works or, a little better because not as much trash is going through my machine either. Yeah. And I guess, okay, so maybe not higher yield because of it, but it's going to make like working the ground and all that. Well, or like, what's the point of having this chopped up better, I guess? 
it'll decompose better and be less to deal with in the spring for us because our corn doesn't rot good. Right. Okay. Okay. I mean, ideally, if we were doing strip till, but we're not going to do We can't really till. do that here. Huh? Well, I think we, I don't know. Could try it. Our problem is, is our corn doesn't decompose over the winter. So I'm hoping this will help. Is it because we don't get like that freeze and warm and freeze and yeah. warm? Yeah. I remember you saying that before. See the little pieces. Just of the stalk and the leaves and yeah, kind of weird. You don't even see them. I feel like the corn cobs look a lot cleaner than they have in the past. Maybe cut them completely, but oh yeah, but you can see where it would have. You can see the lines. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. Now you guys know he was happy with it. Recommends it. Yep. I can. Good review for Calmer Corn Header. Not a corn header it's a or Corn Header kit. Corn header. Right, so it wasn't a whole brand new corn header, it was a kit, and we tore everything apart and replaced a lot of parts. So that's right, it's a kit. <laughs>